There is a lake in Central Africa that looks calm, peaceful, almost beautiful. But beneath its surface, Lake Kivu is holding its breath. Lake Kivu sits on the border of Rwanda and the Democratic Republic of Congo. At first glance, it appears like any other freshwater lake. Fishermen sail across it every day. Children swim along its shores. Villages sleep beside it at night. But deep below, something deadly is trapped. At the bottom of Lake Kivu are massive pockets of dissolved gases, carbon dioxide and methane, slowly building pressure. Scientists estimate over 60 cubic kilometers of methane and 300 cubic kilometers of carbon dioxide are locked beneath the water. If released suddenly, the lake wouldn't just ripple, it would erupt. This kind of disaster is called a limnic eruption, a rare natural explosion where suffocating gas bursts from a lake and spreads across the land. It has happened before. In 1986, Lake Nyos in Cameroon released carbon dioxide without warning. The gas rolled through nearby villages, invisible and silent. Over 1,700 people and thousands of animals died in their sleep. Lake Kivu is far larger. If its gases were triggered by an earthquake, volcanic activity, or landslide, a cloud of poison could pour out and move faster than a human can run. Entire cities around the lake could be wiped out within minutes. What makes it more disturbing is that Lake Kivu sits in an active volcanic zone. Beneath it, magma constantly shifts. Minor tremors happen regularly, and nearby volcanoes have erupted within living memory. Yet life continues around the lake as if nothing is wrong. Some experts believe the methane could be harvested safely as energy. Others warn that disturbing the layers could destabilize the system entirely. A wrong move could be catastrophic. So the lake waits, not boiling, not shaking just holding centuries of pressure beneath a calm surface. A sleeping giant made of water that could suffocate millions if it ever wakes.